math. It's important, I think. Today, I wanted to talk about solving equations and equalities and inequalities. Okay, in solving equations, you solve by isolating the variable. How? Well, let's start off with 5x plus 5 equals 10. 5x is the variable, so we're going to leave that alone and deal with 5. Now, how we get rid of that 5 is by making it into a 0. How do we do that? We subtract 5. Duh. 5 minus 5 equals 0, and what you do to one side, you need to do to the other. So we're going to put that negative 5 there, and since that equals 0, it can just leave. Then we subtract 5 from 10 and get 5. And since 5x is just 5 times x, we can get rid of that 5 by doing the opposite of multiplication, and that is to divide. And you're going to do that to the other side, and that equals 1x equals 1, and really that 1x should just be 1, so x equals 1. Alright, so let's try this one. We took away 8 from one side, gave it to the other, and now we have 4x equals 20. And to get rid of 4, we divide and get x is equal to 5. Alright! Good, now we can move on to a different kind of problem. 4x minus 7 is less than 21. And we can do the same thing that we usually do. We get rid of 7 and end up with 4x is less than 28. Divide both sides by 4 and get x is equal to 7. Fairly simple, except for one thing. This! This thing! It changes everything. We get rid of 7 and get negative 4x is less than 28. But Mr. High and Mighty can't be negative, so we reverse the inequality by multiplying negative 1 to both sides and reversing the equality sign. So now we have 4x is greater than negative 28. And we can now divide to get rid of 4, and we end with x is greater than negative 7. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go take a nap now.